Hey guys, so I was just hanging out in West Hollywood before my flight to Heathrow later and I found out that they have a tennis court, like a rooftop tennis court and I was like, I'm gonna go play some tennis, I've got a few hours to kill and then I met this, this guy, this awesome tennis player I'm Jude, it's, it's such a blast playing in, on the rooftop in West Hollywood It's just, and what is better, you know? You're a coach, right? Absolutely, I coach, you meet all sorts of people and their dogs, it's just a blast Yeah, there's a dog here named Gus Gus What's your favorite um, uh, technique? Technique, hmm Tennis technique. I'd probably have to say my forehand topspin. I love it. It's just so satisfying to hit. Yeah. To crack off. Yeah. I need to work on that. Oh yeah. It's it takes time. You know. For sure. How long do you, would you say before you got a decent topspin? Probably about seven years. It's been you know. Seven you have to, years. Yes. You have to develop it after a while. Oh my gosh. Really gotta you know take was, lots of lessons. I was expecting to get it by the end of today. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we kind of started off just rallying and I definitely wanted to be this side of the court because this is the side that has a view of the Hollywood Hills and it's an insane view as you can tell from just from the video but even in person it just it's kind of just mind-blowing um, and yeah they actually had this pink tennis racket which I borrowed and as you can imagine, I was very happy to play with a pink tennis racket. Did you see that slice? What was that, Mia? Um, the thing is, I actually don't know how to do a slice yet. In my lessons, we haven't got to that. And yet, my brain is like, do a slice, Mia, every time I play tennis. So there Jude is trying to tell me how to do it better. Um, he's got a great slice. But yeah, since this video, I have actually been working on it and in my tennis club i have done two legendary slices and i'm now a tennis legend at my club can you believe that um yeah so this is just me trying it a few times um i think i didn't really get it this day but you know you just gotta keep practicing it and <laughs> I, I just wasn't getting it far enough it just kept hitting the net but I can definitely get it over the net now and in this video I am in no way saying I'm a great tennis player it's just a hobby and something that I'm working on at the minute um, I take lessons in London um, and every week and it's super fun sport and I love to watch it as well and I don't know what was going on this day but my serves were just really bad um usually they do actually go in and i'll have to prove that one day <laughs> so here i am taking the serve again oops um yeah again just didn't even go in which i'm ashamed You can see I'm trying with the with my footwork and rotation, um, but I'm just in the wrong position to actually do it. Um, what was that? <laughs> it's because my favorite player is Rafa Nadal, and he always just these like shots where he kind of goes like over his head with it. Um, I have no idea how to do them, but I'm just like. Well, I love Rafa, so. And we ended the session on a great note. I was so happy to meet Jude there. Um, he's a great friend now. And while I'm in West Hollywood, I love to go to this store called Glossier. It's like a skincare and a makeup shop. Um, and they also have this like coffee shop, which is based on Glossier. It's kind of confusing, but it's just one of my favorite places to go in. When I went to the shop, Glossier, I got this um, lip balm. I actually have a mini version of it at home, but I know that I'm um, I know that I'm running out, so I was like, let me get the new updated version because um, it's also got a better application part. 
And I love the little bubble wrap bags they do that are pink. I literally love anything that's pink or blue. So, and oh, look at this cute sticker I got. When I get stickers, I'm always like, what should I stick it on? Though? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.